Welcome to or welcome back to my channel depending on when you are watching this video. Today we are back with another episode of my tiny adventure series in my Korea safe file and we are still following the lives of my K-pop idol rookies. So right now we are in the dorms, it is 6pm and the girls are a little busy as you can see here. Sunny and Jisoo need to get their hair and makeup done because they have an important schedule to run today. They're actually going to Japan for a fashion week event yes sunny and jisoo were both invited the rest of the inco girls they could have tagged along if they wanted to but unfortunately they have some practicing to do for another event that the girls have coming up now the girls are just getting their makeup done and their hair and then they will be hopping on a flight to japan they have their luggage packed over here. Kwajang Meme's on the couch supervising and then Jia and Jinju are just here watching TV. Ah, they're just trying to enjoy the last little bit of peace they have until they have to go and practice in the studio and I will tell you guys what they are practicing for when we get there. So the girls have finished getting ready for their schedules today. Sunny and Jisoo are just about ready to board their plane and the rest of the girls are going to head to the studio. <laughs> Jinju and Jia decided they wanted to match today so that's cute, good for them. And then so men just feeling lucked out as usual. <sighs> but anyway, <laughs> Kwajang Meme is going to give them a rundown of the schedules just to make sure everybody is on the same page. So we are going to first address Sunny. She is the oldest, <laughs> so she will have to be looking after Jisoo on this trip. So she's going to talk about vacations and just make sure Sunny knows the itinerary, who to meet up with, what to do at the airport and everything. Kwajang Meme, we got it. We'll be fine. I'll take care of everything. Now, So Min is going to actually ask Kwajang Meme about the day's plan and just make sure like she knows what she's getting herself into because if I'm not mistaken, today she will be talking to the victims of the bullying allegations that have been going on against her. Kwajang Meme, I am meeting with those kids today, right? She's like, yeah, we will be having that meeting. We're probably going to have to pull you out of practice for it. I hope you're ready. And she's just like, well, I'm as ready as I'll ever be, I guess. All the while over here, Jinju and Jia are in a playful mood today for some reason. So I'm just going to have them goof around. And let's see. Let's give each other piggyback rides okay guys we're pretty much ready to go we are going to hop in the van and then make our way to our schedules for the day i'll see you guys when we get there um so there is a bit of a problem it would appear as though we have been mobbed pretty much outside of the entertainment building and wow Okay, but girls were definitely not expecting this much paparazzi to be waiting for them. I mean, I guess it's to be expected with all of the controversy going on in the media right now, but this is kind of a lot. Um, we're gonna do our best to navigate through this crowd and just kind of try to focus on practicing and what we came here to do. Um, yeah, so we're gonna reject any and all interview questions. Sorry. I'm sure you guys recognize this location. We are, of course, in our dance studio, and there are some really interesting things happening right here. Basically, there's this really big showcase thing coming up, and INCL are going to be performing there. It's this, like, huge concert for, like, a bunch of artists in the industry, and so the girls are going to be doing all sorts of fun stages, and I'm so excited because Jinju and Jia get to do a collaboration stage together. They just, they work really 
really, really well as a pairing. And I think I'm considering maybe, let me know if you guys think that they should be in a subunit together. Like, we can call them Gigi. Like, they're so cute. I just, I just love Jia and Jinju. But yeah, like I said, they are popping and locking. It's going to be like an old school hip hop style dance break thing and yeah they they got some serious moves this was not easy to learn they have been practicing for a very long time sunny had to like stay in the studio with them up really really late one night just so they can get these moves down and you better believe that they wore their dance teachers out but they are finally able to move all around the floor like they are doing right now. <laughs> right now they're just, you know, marking their movements for what they're going to do on stage, making sure their spacing is right and everything, and just getting the synergy ready. Meanwhile, Soman is just on the couch over here and she's taking a nap. <sighs> I feel you, Soman. She's just been through a lot and she has a very... I'm sure what is going to be a stressful conversation up ahead of her, she will be meeting with people who hold a grudge against her and her past behavior. And you know, it's never easy facing your past face to face, so I would understand why she would be apprehensive about it and a little worn out. We will wake her up later though because she needs to practice for her speech. She's going to be doing an opening speech at this showcase. So, as promised, we are now in one of the recording studios because we just needed a private place to talk. We are here with one of the alleged bullying victims from the school of violence case. And her name is Peng Mihi. She attends Sasu High School, which was the high school that so many used to attend before she started going to Daehan High for performing arts. This is Mina, oh Mina. She also goes to Daehan High, but she used to go to Sasu High School. And her and Soman used to be very good friends. If you're putting together what happened already, um, basically Soman had a group of friends that really liked her and thought she was like cool and popular. And they would basically pick on people. I mean, not for her. She didn't necessarily tell them to do it, but she didn't stop them from doing it either. So, you know, she's equally as responsible. It's really interesting because there was actually two girls that were like, so many sidekicks kind of at Sasu High School. Um, it was Mina and then another girl named Chimin who now goes to the school that Sunny and Jisoo got bullied out of. That whole thing will be <laughs> explored more in my upcoming series on my channel. Stay tuned. But yeah, Mina is the one that came today and I guess Jimin didn't want to come. Um, anyway, the three of them were referred to as the Mins because, you know, so men, Mina, Timin, they all have men in their name. But like I was saying, it's super interesting that Mina was actually the one that came today because if you go on Simstagram, let's visit proximity profiles. If you go on Mina's Simstagram, you will see here that Mina actually was good friends with Gia. This is Mina and Gia, um, Gia from INTL. <laughs> um, they had taken a picture together, a selfie together at school. Like Gia and Mina were actually like starting to become friends at school. Mina is actually also really good friends with Sohi, one of the girls that So Min happen to be really good friends with. Enough chit chat. I think it's time to get down to the nitty gritty and have a conversation with Mihi. So I'm gonna have Mihi start and basically she's gonna speak to Kwa Jung Min because I think fairly enough she's kind of scared to talk to the other two girls given her history with them. Um, so she's going to give a respectful introduction to Kwa Jung Mi. She's like, Annyeonghaseyo. I hope you accept me today as being the person speaking on behalf of my other classmates. They were too nervous to come here today, so I will be representing them. And anything you have to say to them, you can say to me. Ooh, Mina. Mm -mm. She already has a stink look on her face. She's looking at Soman. This is already very awkward. <laughs> Soman, maybe you should probably introduce yourself to Mihi as well. Uh, friendly. 
a friendly introduction. <laughs> okay, so instantly Mihi has a bad thought bubble about so men. Since what's about Mihi? This sims takes so men as overly dramatic. So men, no. No, she's not being dramatic. Her experiences are valid. She felt hurt by you and your friend's actions and you have to acknowledge that. Question name, how about you help Mina fix her bad relationship with Sona? We wanna hear out your grievances, you know, talk to us about what your concerns are and any transgressions that you may have remembered about so men. You can be as open and honest as you want. We are here to hear you out today. Mina's like, hear her out? No, 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 no. I came to clear my name. <laughs> you guys can listen to all of this fantasy, but I'm just here to make sure that I don't get caught up in something that I had no part of. Oh, <laughs> so many, <laughs> so many is looking at her in disbelief. How does it feel, so man? How does it feel to be gaslit by someone you thought was your friend? Ha, huh, that one's for Sunny. Mihi, I want you to just go ahead and air your grievances, talk about Mean Girls with so man, and ask her if she even remembers all of the stuff that happened between you guys. You might want to sit here and act like you're innocent, but I distinctively remember you would just look at us as if we were trash when we walked down the hallways. Like, we get that you're prettier than us, but like, other people deserve to be treated like human beings. Hey, I don't look down on anyone because of my looks. Like, I don't know what made you think that way, but I apologize. So Mihi's clearly really upset. <laughs> um, she's not buying any of what Sloman is selling. She's gonna rant at her logically. Just, you know, really try to like get it through Sloman's head that she's just she's not being convincing at all actually you're full of crap so man, because i remember this one time this boy that you had a crush on gave me a pencil a pencil to help me out in class and you got so angry at me that you told your friends and i remember jimin took scissors and cut my hair and then you took that piece of hair and you kept it in your pencil case for the rest of the school day so tell me how that's not being jealous and angry at somebody over their looks um i think she's actually gonna chew her out as she deserves and then what else can we do we're going to tell her that we hate her because <laughs> She probably does hate her after all these years. I mean, could you imagine seeing your bully, like, become an idol? So while those two sit there and argue with each other, Kwa Chang Nim is probably just over here thinking about all of the work that she's going to have to go through and all of the yelling she's going to have to face from her bosses because this PR issue was supposed to be handled. And I, I don't think it's being handled very well. In the midst of all of this chaos, as usual, Jia and Jinju have snuck away. Tensions are way too high for these easygoing girls, okay? They wanna go have fun and like relax for a little bit. They finished their rehearsals and they're already pretty covered up. I mean, Jinju has a hat on and like they're both wearing masks. I doubt they'll be recognized. They might be, but hopefully we don't get swarmed. So Jia and Jinju decided that after a very long day of, you know, drama, altercations, and dancing, practicing as usual, they are very, very, very hungry. <laughs> um, and they just wanted some Korean food. They were very much in the mood for Korean. Jinju used to really love coming here, like after school when she was in middle school. Um, she would come here with her friends and get something to eat. <laughs> so Jia and her are going to grab a little snack. We are going to use this mod by Ravishing. It's called the What's Fork Dinner mod. Um, basically, it allows you to create a tasty meal out of thin air. So you can just like, you can create any meal. Like you don't have to cook it, it'll just appear. Ah, <sighs> look at this nice atmosphere. Look at them eating their forbidden ramen. Now that the happy pills of the group have finished eating, we are probably going to let them go and, you know, do some karaoke. We're going to send them off to the norebang and de-stress a little bit. 
and then they will make their way back home. Kwasang Ning will probably go pick them up from karaoke, and I will then see you guys in the morning for some more practice, practice, practice. It is now the next morning and everyone is here at the stadium because we are doing rehearsals for this upcoming concert showcase. It is a winter holiday showcase. Um, so a lot of different groups are coming together and doing one big concert. Um, and the rehearsal times right now just so happen to be for INTL and the group Siren. If you watched the last episode, I believe, the Siren girls were introduced. They are a rival K-pop group. Um, and right now, there is like a huge fan war between the Siren's fandom, the Symphonies, and INTL's fandom, the Loveys. So, I mean, you would expect it to be a little awkward um, when the two groups get together but hopefully everybody can be cordial and professional I mean they have no reason to not like each other um, except for like fabricated drama you know they don't really know these girls that well all except for of course a couple of members so this is Sola Moon and this is in Unso and these two were actually competitors on Produce 16 the same exact idol competition show that all of the INTL members met each other on and they obviously <laughs> didn't make it into the final lineup so they actually did get to debut like together in another group which is a siren right now sunny and soulman are marking their places for their collab stage they are doing a collab duet dance together sunny wasn't able to practice all day yesterday because her and jisoo did go to a fashion show in Tokyo and they got back super duper late they practically didn't get any sleep like all of their energy is just completely depleted but they're here to do what they have to do because they are professionals Jisoo is actually going to be doing a song she's gonna be singing a solo song so I'm excited to prepare for that this whole like bullying allegation thing is like bringing up some <laughs> petty feelings in so man and sunny and it's just uh they just need to reconcile their differences sunny is just kind of over it it might be the sleep deprivation talking but i think she's actually going to just throw a petty jab at so man she's gonna be really passive aggressive with it like oh next time you apologize maybe try saying i'm sorry that would probably help the situation so <laughs> sunny and Soman actually genuinely want to fight right now but i'm just i'm just going to cancel the interaction and hopefully they don't actually fight that would be so embarrassing to fight in front of staff and like other people in the industry like come on now you guys are way too old to be acting like that she is angry y'all G is actually angry G is like literally never upset I think G is gonna say something so she's going to tell so men to actually be a leader and argue about her responsibilities and then she's going to argue about the job to Sunny because like we are professional idols in this industry we have schedules we have to be around each other literally 24 7 you guys can't be arguing like this. Jinju saw them all arguing here and she was just like, I need to step up and like put myself in between the situation so that this doesn't escalate any further. The only one that isn't <laughs> involved right now is Jisoo, who's like trying to find her pitch on the guitar. And all of the Siren girls have gathered around her to be supportive and like listen to her practice her solo song. That's so cute. I'm going to have Jinju try and de-escalate. She is going to encourage Sunny to see the best in others. 
Soman is under a lot of stress, you guys. You can't just put this all on her. And Gia is just like, well, she's under stress because of her past actions. Exactly! Why should anybody be understanding of her? Why can't she be more understanding of us? This is so frustrating. She can't get away with this. And Soman is just here watching everything fall apart. And I think she's starting to feel a little bit guilty because she's never seen Gia that upset. And, like, she's starting to understand that, like, all of this is her fault, really. Oh, this is embarrassing. Some of the siren girls are like asking about the situation. Anin is asking Jisoo what the heck is going on with her members. Jisoo's just like, yeah, they have some personal things going on. We're working it out, you guys. How is like, it's cool. This type of stuff happens. It's to be expected. I mean, we are all young people in a very stressful industry. So I get it. Tensions are high sometimes. Meanwhile, Sola, Unsel, and Rumi are here talking about the trio that they're doing they are actually doing a little number together so they're discussing it jinju at this point i'm just so tired of so men like i don't even want to be next to her let alone do a number with her g is like what do you mean you don't want to do a number with her you don't really have an option so men you're our leader and also one of the oldest members like it's up to you to keep us together you guys please if not for yourselves then for us for intl Arn has come over here to try and see if she can help mediate the situation and gia is horrified y'all look sunny's fist is clenched why she look like the arthur meme right now i'm dead so after some more arguing back and forth the girls finally decided that they're going to talk it out and <laughs> just have a one-on-one -on -one discussion it's about loyalty and principle sunny if you go to a party with someone you make sure you leave with them if someone accuses your friend of doing something you ask for their side of the story first and if i apologize like i have apologized over and over then you accept that i'm being sincere but no everybody just wants to have this picture of me in their head so like that has nothing to do with me, Sunny. I think the problem here is that we're just two fundamentally different people and that doesn't have to be a bad thing. Maybe we just need to agree to be cordial and like maybe we can work towards friendship but for right now, we just really need to put this behind us so that we can focus on work and be professional about things. Cause I don't know about you, but I'm just, I'm tired of arguing so man. I don't have it in me to do this anymore. Do you remember a couple episodes where Sunny bought so many BTS tickets and they were just like having the time of their life and like they went to a, a Korean sauna together and like you would have thought that they've been best friends <laughs> since childhood and now they won't even look at each other. Yo, I am dead at <laughs> most of the Siren members over here eavesdropping on their conversation. But yeah, I'm gonna get the rest of this rehearsal underway and the next time I talk to you guys, we will be on the red carpet. We are now on the red carpet of this holiday concert. And here we have the Siren members posing, looking so beautifully for the cameras. And they are dressed, of course, on theme. Oh, aren't they gorgeous? Seriously, Siren is that group to look out for because they are beautiful, they are talented, they are driven, guys. They are siren and then of course we have the gorgeous intl oh my gosh the girls look so expensive can we just take a moment and look at Sunny and Jisoo right now. I put a lot of thought and effort into this one, so I really hope you guys enjoy it. And as always, Stan INTL. Yorobun, Annyeonghashimnika. Tonight, we are here to celebrate. If we're being honest, the past three years have been very, very rough on absolutely everyone. But despite that, we're still able to gather to look around and cherish the loved ones that we have, to cherish what we have and where we are. 
and we're still able to laugh and smile despite all of the hardships. So tonight we are here to put on a performance so that you can continue to smile and laugh with the people that matter the most. Thank you and enjoy.
that is the end of the video, you guys. Thank you so, so much for watching, and thank you for enjoying the concert. Please be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe because it really helps out the channel. And hit that bell icon to receive post notifications of whenever I upload. I have a lot of content coming for you guys very, very soon, and you don't want to miss out. Again, thank you so much for everything, you guys. I just started my channel this year, and it's gotten so much positive feedback and love and I just want you to know it's all reciprocated and I appreciate every one of you so so much so happy holidays I hope you have a good rest of the year and I will see you next time bye